Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee. You're watching Bianca Renee today, and it's another Foundation Friday where I review new foundations every week to see how well they do on oily skin. Now, today's foundation is the Rimmel Match Perfection 24 Hour Pore Blurring Effect Foundation. The only reason I got this foundation is because it is safe to say that my absolute favorite drugstore foundation at this moment is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. Excuse the bottle, it's completely brown now from being in my makeup bag. We used to be white, but this stuff right here kept me matte all day long. So I thought I might as well try its sister, the Match Perfection. The other reason I bought this is because it was only $3 at Walgreens, it was on sale. It used to be $6, it was on sale for three. Like, this is now the cheapest foundation I have ever bought in my life. But now I just realized, looking at the bottle, it says it expires November 2017. It's October 31st, so I guess I have to use all this foundation today. I don't really know what it means to have expired foundation, like, it starts to smell. I don't, how do you know it's expired? We'll find out. So first of all, this foundation does have a lot of claims. It's claiming to last 24, oh, not last, give you 24 hours of moisture. I guess that's different than being long lasting. Uh, poor blurring effect, which is always good. I have very large pores, so let's blur them out if we can. And it also has SPF 18. Every foundation that I've tried that has sunscreen usually is SPF 15. So they really raise the bar by adding a couple more and giving us to 18. It is one fluid ounce, just like every other foundation I've reviewed. Now on the back of the bottle, it says that it's smooth texture blends with skin's real tone instead of masking it. Now it's pretty funny that this kind of brags about being match perfect and blending with the skin's real tone when they only have 13 colors to choose from and this is their absolute darkest shade. There is definitely darker skin tones out in the world past me. So the fact that I'm the darkest shade is pretty crazy. The interesting thing about this color is that it is color 502, as they're calling Noisette, where my Stay Matte Rimmel is also number 502. But I feel like the matte color is a better match to me than the Match Perfection, and they're the same number. I don't get it. Another claim on the bottle is that it has a soft focus powder that helps reduce imperfections, pores, and dark circles. I have all of those things. So we're really gonna be putting this to the test today, especially because it does not claim to be a matte or mattifying foundation. It says it's supposed to moisturize your skin for 24 hours, which might be a term that many of you oily girls might be worried about. You're thinking, I have oily skin, like I don't need any more moisture. But actually, it's the opposite. When our skin is producing too much oil, it's because it's too dry and your skin is like, oh, you're dry? Let me give you some more oil. And that's how we become so oily. So if this foundation can actually keep us at the right hydration, then maybe our skin won't produce so much, keeping us matte for a long time. So I'm excited to put this foundation to the test. So let me show you exactly how I applied it to my skin. Let's get started. My face is already moisturized, so now I'm just going to add my primer. Now, since we are doing Rimmel, let's stay in the Rimmel family, and I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's about $6, and it does a really good job at keeping you matte. And I'm excited to see how this does with a Rimmel foundation. So first of all, it does not have a pump or any way to really dispense the product. You just kinda gotta tap it out, and it looks like it's pretty thick, so it really needed a pump. We'll make it work. I can't even squeeze this out. What am I supposed to do? Give me something. Give me, this is like pouring ketchup out of a bottle. Maybe you gotta shake it on the side. Come on, man. There we go. Here we go. The color test. This will work. Yeah, that's pretty good. This really, really needed a pump. I don't know how this is gonna come out when I get towards the end of the bottle. But it is a very thick, creamy product. Let's cover some of those imperfections. Does a good job at covering. So if you're looking for coverage, this is good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now usually when foundations just have like the open top like this, 
it's runny enough to where it'll pour out. But this is a thick foundation. Nothing's gonna come out of here. <sighs> I think I need to call back up. All right, let me just take an actual brush and scoop out some of this foundation. There we go. Now that might be too much. This is why we need a pump. So here's the completed application of just the foundation. I think it did a pretty good job with coverage. It's kind of blurring my pores. We'll see how it looks when I apply powder and the rest of my face. So let me go ahead and do that right now. There we go. So now that I have my full completed face on, I do think that the coverage is really nice, especially when you set it with some powder. I am very matte right now. There's no dewiness and I'm hoping that this goes a long way. Now it is currently 10.30 a.m. I finally started a foundation Friday early enough to get a good eight hours. So I will come back at the end of the day and we'll see exactly how long this foundation will last on oily skin. And I'm back. It is currently 9.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of 11 hours, a very long time. It's not the 24 hours that the package claims it can keep my skin moisturized, but I think I've had enough. So. This is where I am. I am shiny, um, really shiny right around here. T-zone. It actually looked better in the dark and now that I'm in front of all these lights, it's a little more shiny than I realized. But overall, I think it did an all right job. So take a good look because now it is time to blot. If you're new to my channel, I always use my oil absorbing sheets to take up all the oil to see one, if the foundation is transfer proof and to see how much oil my skin produced within these 11 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and blot and you just push down. Oh yeah. And then you take off all the oil. That was kind of a lot for the first one. I really thought this did better than it actually did. Okay, so there is all the oil from this blot that kind of is a lot. A little bit of the makeup is on here, so I probably would not call this transfer proof. That's gross. Now, if you have dry skin, I would say that this foundation might work better for you, but if you have oily skin, we definitely gotta keep it to the Rimmel Stay Matte by far. I mean, for $3, I'm not too mad at it. I definitely think that this is better than some high-end foundations that I've tried. So overall, after 11 hours, I think this foundation just did all right. This is probably a foundation I'd grab for maybe like a short day, six hour day, but not for something where I needed to last all day long. If you have tried this foundation, I'd love to know your opinion. So please leave me a comment and let me know how well it worked for you and your skin type. And if you enjoyed this video, come back next week. I post foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat so you can see if I continue to use this foundation and how it works maybe with a different primer on a different day. So go ahead and follow me so we could be best. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.